house followers and welcome to the third day of our kids craft week so we are going to be making a um, this canvas painting it to look like a watermelon um, so first off you want to make sure you grab one of your canvases if you have the kit so we're using an 8x10 um, I did make sure I have a little board behind me that I can wipe off when I'm done but having something down that um, you can throw away after you get any paint on it. It's always a good thing. Also protects any tables. So we are gonna need six colors today. So we're using a lamp black, this titanium white. We're gonna use that red, the magenta, and then the green and the turquoise. And then of course we have this awesome little artist pack. So I already got a couple brushes out. Um, and we are going to start by painting this whole canvas with white. And I am just going to go ahead and I'm just going to put it right on my canvas. And I want to make sure the whole canvas gets colored because that's going to help me um, when I blend my red into the pink and then the pink into a very light pink that'll be next to that um, green um, core of the watermelon. So again, I'm just getting it all white. Just gonna paint all the way across. Don't forget to get your edges. And then while you're doing this, just think about like, which side are you gonna want that watermelon coming from? Um, I am gonna start from a corner and go to the other corner here. But you could do something very similar if you wanted to do more of a um, half moon shape. You could. Again, you just wanna have fun with this. This is really fun. I mean, this is, also a really great project to do during the summer. You can also do it with um, other fruits, which is awesome. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with a little bit of this red in the corner. So I'm gonna start with this red. I'm just gonna kinda squeeze it. Actually, I don't think I got white in this corner. Hold on. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit of red in that corner. And I'm just going to, I'm using the same brush. You don't have to, but I'm going to use that same brush and just bring it out. So that white below is going to kind of help it blend so it can go into that kind of pinkish color. And then I'm actually going to grab a different brush here because I want to make this a little bit more red. So I'm just going to put a little dab. I'm just going to spread it out. Do make sure that you're getting your sides of your canvas as well. You don't want to be leaving that all white. Um, maybe you don't want your sides all painted. If that's the case, I always recommend taping it off. Um, that's going to help you in this process. Okay, I think I'm going to put a tad more red. Sorry. Again, maybe you want a more red watermelon. You could just paint it on out all the way red and let it blend into the white till that green uh, rind that a watermelon has. Now, I'm going to come in with that pink now. Oops, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the pink right on the brush as well. 
I'm just gonna keep blending it. Now remember, leave some room so that you do have room for that um, rind that a watermelon has, but I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna get some of this red to blend up into that pink a little bit more. And come in with a little bit more red. Now again, kids, have fun with this because everybody's watermelons turn out a little bit different when you crack them open and your canvas is gonna turn out different than mine. Just make sure it's something that you love and you are proud of, has the colors you want. All right, and don't forget your sides. That's another important thing. Unless you want them to be white. Now maybe when you're doing this, there's too much red, or maybe you're just wanting it all pink. You could start from a pink and go into that light kind of pink color. Um, or if this is all too bright for you, you could just add a little bit of white on your brush and just start from the bottom and go all the way up. Really is just a preference. I'm gonna get a nice, rich, bright color with mine here. And again, getting all my sides done. Okay, so I like the way this guy looks for me. I'm kind of going for a brighter looking watermelon. I'm ready for that sunshine and summer feel. So we're gonna have some vibrant colors for my watermelon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that brush to the side. And then you wanna go ahead and get a clean brush from your packet. So I'm just going to go through, I'm going to make a clean white line again, just making sure. Right along that pink or red you have. Just making a little bit of white consistent all the way across because you're going to blend that green rind that we're going to make for the watermelon. So now we're going to go ahead and grab that green and I'm using the same brush. You can wipe it off a little bit. And then I'm just going to go along that top side. So again, maybe you don't want any white and you want the green to go right along the pink, which is totally fine and you can do that. And I'm going to make a thick rind on my watermelon this time. I like the way it looks when it kind of gets blended in with the white. It's not as bright. Um, all right. Nice and pretty. I wish I could see all of your guys' artwork. I'm sure it's so great. Okay. Now, and if I don't like how these are off, I could go ahead and get another clean brush and just come in with some white and clean that up. So I could just come along with my brush, cleaning it all up. Now this paint is a little thicker than I like. If you got some thick pieces and you don't want it to go into your other color, you can just push it over the correct way and then just paint on up. Okay. Now we're gonna add a little blue on the outside, kind of like a sunny um, summer day. 
So I'm just going to plop it right on the canvas and then either wash your brush or get a clean brush and then just go ahead and paint this back and forth. Again, this is that little turquoise color that we're mixing in on here. Ooh, I kind of like, do you see, I don't know if you guys can see on here, but when that blue hits a white, it kind of gives it a, uh, kind of reminds me of clouds. Or maybe those uh, planes, you know how they leave, the jets will leave behind little streaks in the sky? Kind of like that. Okay, need a little bit more blue so I can get my sides here. Get all my sides painted. Okay. And I like the way that the white looks in there. If you do not like that, um, just go back over with some more paint or wait until it's dried. Um, you can also just finally go back and forth, back and forth and work it all into the paint. But I like the way it looks. Again, it's your preference, it's your masterpiece, so paint it how you would want it. Maybe you're gonna give this as a gift, maybe however your grandparents might like it, or your mom and dad. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and let this dry, and then we're gonna come in with some um, black and make the lines. If you are not patient and you wanna come in and make the seeds, you can go ahead and do that, but you might mess up your um, paint. So our piece is all dry, so I'm gonna go ahead, I just, you can either put a little black on your little um, trays, painter tray if you have some, you could put it right on your brush, or maybe you have a paper towel you're working with or brown paper, just go ahead and get a little bit on your brush and you're just gonna make little downward lines. Now there's no rhyme or reason where you decide to put your seeds on your watermelon. Maybe you only want them down below at the top on this corner just like this, or maybe you want it to go all the way up. I am gonna kinda of put seeds throughout my watermelon. I don't like seeds in my watermelon, but I like to paint watermelon with seeds in it. See right there, I got a little blob. That's okay, it doesn't have to be a line. Not every seed is perfect. Not every seed looks alike. All right, there you go. And if you get done and you notice anywhere that you kind of miss, you can come back in with a brush later on, more paint, and just touch that up. All right. Thank you for crafting with us today. I hope you guys had fun learning a quick, easy ombre with your red and your pink paint and using white below. Um, such a fun piece. So fun to do strawberries and raspberries the same way. Um, and please share and post all your fun crafts you guys are doing with us through this. Um, we'd love to see what you all are doing. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.